Herpes simplex virus, abbreviated HSV, is a common viral infection categorized into two types, HSV1 and HSV2. Both types of herpes infections are lifelong and tend to recur. Various factors can trigger outbreaks, including sunlight exposure, trauma, menstrual periods, stress, fever, fatigue, and systemic infections. HSV is highly contagious and can be transmitted to those who have not been previously infected. The virus spreads through respiratory droplets or virus-containing fluids such as saliva and cervical secretions. HSV-1 is commonly associated with oral infections like cold sores or fever blisters, as well as infections of the cornea. However, it can also cause genital herpes. HSV-1 is typically transmitted through contact with infected saliva. During the initial infection, the virus enters sensory nerve endings and travels through retrograde axonal transport to the dorsal root ganglion where it establishes lifelong latency. In the secondary phase of HSV-1, the virus reactivates, leading to the recurrence of lesions at the same site. The virus travels down peripheral nerves to the original infection site where it is shed. Genital herpes infections are most commonly caused by HSV-2. The virus is transmitted through skin-to-skin -skin mucous membrane contact during viral shedding. HSV-2 infections usually begin with an asymptomatic initial infection. Those at higher risk for infection include immunocompromised individuals or those engaging in sexual contact with infected partners. Vertical transmission from mother to neonate can result in significant neonatal morbidity and mortality. It's important to note that herpes infections can easily spread from one body area to another through contact. The first episode of a herpes infection may occur three to seven days or more after contact, with symptoms such as painful local reaction, single or grouped vesicles on an erythematous base, and possible systemic symptoms like fever and malaise. Recurrent episodes usually involve the same symptoms and typically occur in the same spot as previous outbreaks. The vesicles eventually rupture, forming a crust, and the lesions usually resolve within two to six weeks. Before the lesions appear, which is known as the prodromal period, patients may experience increased sensitivity, tingling sensations, and mild burning. Symptomatic treatment is typically recommended for herpes infections and includes the use of topical or oral antiviral agents. Oral antivirals include acyclovir, Zovirax, famcyclovir, famvir, and valacyclovir, Valtrex. Scarring is not a common outcome of herpes infections. Research is ongoing for developing prophylactic vaccines. Ensuring proper symptom management is a key aspect of nursing care. Assess and monitor the location, extent, and severity of lesions or outbreaks. Administer analgesics or topical anesthetics as prescribed to alleviate pain and discomfort. Good hygiene practices such as gentle cleansing of lesions and proper hand washing techniques should be encouraged. Suggest the use of cool compresses or soothing baths to relieve discomfort. Educate patients on self-care measures such as avoiding irritating substances, keeping the affected area clean and dry, and wearing loose-fitting clothing. Also educate patients about potential triggers for outbreaks, such as stress or exposure to sunlight, and encourage them to identify and manage these triggers. Preventing transmission of HSV is a significant focus of nursing interventions. Educate patients about abstaining from sexual activity during active outbreaks or prodromal symptoms. The importance of consistent and correct use of barrier methods, such as condoms or dental dams, should be emphasized, even when lesions are not present. Advise patients to avoid sharing utensils, cups, or other items that come into contact with the mouth if active oral lesions are present. Educate pregnant women about the risk of transmitting the virus to their infants during delivery and provide them with information about preventative measures. Psychosocial support is vital for patients with HSV, and nurses play an important role in providing it. Assess the emotional impact of HSV on patients by addressing their well-being, self-esteem, and relationships. Create a safe space for open discussion and address any concerns or misconceptions patients may have about the virus. Provide information about local support groups or resources available to individuals living with HSV. If needed, work with the healthcare provider to refer patients to counseling services or mental health professionals for additional support. Follow-up and monitoring are essential components of nursing care for HSV. Regular appointments are scheduled to assess the effectiveness of treatment and provide ongoing support. 
Monitor for any complications or secondary infections related to HSV, such as bacterial superinfection. Routine screenings for other sexually transmitted infections should be performed. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments if you have any questions.